What's going on YouTube? Giosna right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the PassFab activation unlocker in order to unlock your Apple ID if you forgot it or if you forgot the password and now you're locked out of your device. So before we start a big big disclaimer you should only use this program on your own devices. Please do not use this program for any illegal or nefarious reasons. You should only use this if you legitimately bought your device. So this software is created by PassFab and it's available here on PassFab.com. It's called Activation Unlocker and it allows you to do multiple things including to bypass the setup screen if you're stuck there because there are legitimate reasons to be stuck there, not only stolen devices or stuff like that. For example, you could have set up a throwaway account in order to get applications on your device but then you reset your device and you no longer remember that password. And of course, you're now locked out of your account with this activation prompt. Now, if the device is yours and you somehow manage to lock yourself out of your device, this program will definitely help. So a very important warning before we start, the remove activation procedure in here only works on iPhone 10 and lower. This will not support the newer devices like the iPhone 12, the iPhone 13 or of course the iPhone 11 or 10s Max and so on. But this is not the option we're going to use in this video, we're going to use this one in here. Now this program is available for both Windows and Mac OS and there is a free trial available. The iOS version supported by the software are iOS 12 all the way up to 14.7.1. So in order to remove the Apple ID from the settings so that you can log out of the iCloud and iMessage and so on, all you have to do is to press in here and of course connect your device. And then you have to read carefully this disclaimer in here which tells you exactly what iOS devices are supported and of course how you should use this. Again, another big disclaimer, only use this if the device belongs to you. This channel does not condone stealing, so please don't do that. So you're going to press next in here and it's going to say removing the Apple ID and that's basically it. Leave your device connected at this point and of course do not reset it after that. So as you can see it says in here successfully unlock the Apple ID. It says in here the Apple ID has been unlocked successfully, you can use it as brand new. You press down and that's it. Now the device will restart, you're going to see the Apple logo and your device will reboot and it's very likely going to take a couple of minutes before it's going to boot. So all the information about how to use this program is available on their official website in here and of course all the use cases. Another important use case for this is the unable to activate. Now if your device is running an older iOS version, for example iOS 8 or something like that, Apple no longer lets you activate your device because you're running a too old version. However, if you want to bypass that and still activate your device without updating it, this software can go past that if it's of course an older device that you want to keep on an older version for historic purposes. Now do keep in mind that if you use this option in here you may be asked for your find my iPhone if you reset your device. So this one in here, the unlock Apple ID, only removes it from the device. It does not remove it from the Apple server. So the device still belongs to that account. So do not reset the device. So yeah, the tool is actually pretty useful if you forgot your Apple ID and it's now stuck on that device or if you bought a second hand device and the seller forgot to remove the Apple ID and so on. But again, please use this for legal reasons. So that's basically it. Definitely check the program out, especially if you have activation problems on older versions and so on. It's pretty simple to install, especially on Mac. You just drag it and drop it to the applications folder, but on Windows it's pretty simple to install as well. Now after your device reboots, it's going to say restore completed, apps and data will continue to download in the background and that's basically it. You will have to reconnect to the Wi-Fi and so on. Alright, so after the device reboots, you're going to see the setup screen and you're going to have to basically select Wi-Fi again and of course you're going to see the data privacy but after that you can see we no longer have any Apple ID in here. It asks you for a new Apple ID so there's no Apple ID left on this device. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.